Well, thank you very much. Let me first um, elucidate a bit. Supplementary budget is a budget that is meant for very important national welfare need of the people that is not captured originally in budget or does not have adequate funding. I'll give you an example. Nigeria today, we've read it in the past one week for United Nations World Food Organization that 26.5 million Nigerians will go hungry next year. This is an issue of national importance that we can go for supplementary budget. But we have a supplementary budget where we are mentioning issues of yachts, SUVs for first ladies' office, shows to the extent that we, this government is totally uncaring and we're in deep problem. It shouldn't be part of that. In fact, bringing in first lady's office, which is not in our constitution, mm -hmm. is even more troubling. All funds meant for first lady's office should be allocated and addressed to dealing with the girl child issue of education, to deal with the view of education of the girl child in Nigeria. The first lady is there to look after the husband and work with him and everything to ensure that everything works well. So for me, the other one you ask is the issue of SUV for National Assembly. Again, I can put it in the same basket that I put the earlier one. It's very troubling. The SUVs for both houses will cost in region of, I think it's in region of about 60 billion, if I'm right. Nigeria today, our primary health care today is collapsed. Which cons consequently, Nigeria now have higher infant mortality than India, a country that is seven times our population. For you now to use funds that is higher than the fund allocated to primary health care to buy a car for 400 people is just height of insensitivity. And we have a way we can buy a more competitive vehicle and everything for them, even from locally made. And most of them, sorry, even in the Senate, are people who already have cars. We don't really need to buy vehicles to them because some of them are my colleagues, as governors and everything. Do they need new cars again? It is time we must check and show responsibility to what is happening. People in Nigeria are already scamping for food from West Bean. And we're doing this. It shouldn't be. And I can go further to give you an example of how I handled it even when I was governor. So it's not the first time. When I became governor, I found out that the justices of High Court don't have cars in Anambra State. The permanent secretaries don't have cars. And when I became governor, they ordered for me two bulletproof vehicles. And I said, no. Collect the money back. Paid it to Pan and said, supply us 60 406 cars, 18 to the justices, 18 to PANSEC, few to the commissioners that are appointed. The rest became my deputy governor and myself. Throughout my first time, everybody in Anambra said that I used 406. Nobody, but it was meant for two bulletproof cars, the money we used to buy all these cars. And nobody killed us in that four years. So it is time for us to use money very judiciously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.